What's up, Daiwa fans? Toad Slayer 72 here. What we have before us is a uh, brand new Lexa 300 HL. L being lefty. You know, know the left way is the right way. But um, anyway, yeah, I just got this yesterday. It's a nice big bait reel. It certainly looks the part. And uh, especially more than anywhere else is in that handle area. The handle is an absolute beast. I mean, it's just so strong and solid feeling. I mean, I measured from here to here on it. We got almost four inches. It was three and seven eighths. So I don't know if that's how you normally measure a real handle. I don't care. It's just to give you an idea, you know, how big it is. I don't have another reel where the handle even comes close to that. So um, that I like it though. It feels just so good. Um, also, while we're on the side, there is a bearing in here on the top of the shaft. Down below, we got a uh, bushing. So, you know, there's your upgrade waiting to happen. Also, check this out. Very nice clicking star drag. So, fans of that can be happy it's there. I know I was. Deep spool for your tons of heavy mono or whatever your line of choice is. I'm going with braid, but I know that's... That's how you're supposed to do it, but that's what I'm doing. We have um, nice little drill marks here in the spool, but I counted six of them. Not a big deal. It's not going to matter. You're not going to see them ever, but they're there. But it's a nice, smooth, basic looking reel. Low profile. It just looks good. Looks like a Daiwa, you know? I'm hoping it fishes like a Daiwa. I'm sure it will. But um, just to give you an idea, I have a 103 HL Steez here. That's the original Japanese version. I got that back in 06. I know there's been a few iterations, but it's the only one I ever got. That's just a little comparison just to show you the size here. It's the only way, the only reason I have the Steez here is to show you the size. I'm going to handle. Boom. This just sucker is just big. But anyway. I don't have a Corrado to do a direct comparison. It'd be nice if I did, but I've been a Daiwa man and a Daiwa fan since a long time now. So no Shimano's in my arsenal. Nothing against Shimano though. I've always just preferred the, the look of the Daiwas, but I'll probably end up with that new Calcutta eventually because I'm all about the big baits now. and I know that's the cream of the crop there. So I'll, I'll get there eventually. But for now, it's my new toy. It's nice. Retails for about 200 I got it for a little less. I went eBay route. I usually go Tackle Warehouse route, but Tackle Warehouse was sleeping a little bit on the release dates. They changed it and, you know, it was a long time and then I didn't know what it was going to be. So I just hopped on it when I saw the dude post it on eBay. I was happy to see it, so I just got it. But, um,. Yeah, that's it. It's a big bait reel. Be slinging some huds with it. I um, I don't have a good rod for it yet, but that 8.6 Dobbin swim bait rod is looking real, real good. It's going to be hard to fight buying that sooner rather than later, so I'll probably end up doing that in a few weeks. There you go. I'll fish with this in a few days. Anyone wants to hit me up on my thread on Tackle Tour. I'm not ripping this reel apart or doing gears or any of that stuff. I don't have time for that anymore. I'm sure someone else will do it. If not, Cal and them eventually. There it is. Alexa. It's nice. Anybody on the fence or anybody thinking about this big bait reel, I think it's going to be good. I wish I had a lower gear ratio one, but for now I'll take this. You know, I'm happy to have it. Alright, take care.